The New York Rangers are going to finish this season as one of the top teams in the entire NHL and very well could end up finishing first place in the Metropolitan Division, the Eastern Conference, as well as the entire NHL where they could end up winning the President's Trophy. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter exactly what you do in the regular season. As long as you have playoff success, that's really all people are going to remember at the end of the day. You know, whether you finish first and get that President's Trophy or whether you finish, you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever seed it is in your conference, it doesn't exactly matter. As long as you do the right thing in the playoffs and get the job done and have some success there, that's what matters most. And I truly do think this Rangers team has what it takes to truly win a Stanley Cup. I think this depth on this team is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, obviously having guys like Zach Jones and Chad Ruedel as your 7 and 8 D-man, I think it's very good. Chad's got a, a decent amount of playoff experience with the Penguins. Zach Jones hasn't played really obviously in the playoffs in the NHL, but he's obviously a guy who is quite talented and the last little while here since he obviously has been getting a few games there obviously since Gus has been out now Gus is back but when Gus was out there Zach Jones was playing quite phenomenal so I do think having this good depth here especially in the back end is quite good on the forward side of things I mean the depth is phenomenal top to bottom there I think our forward core is very very talented you've always got those two very good lines there who when they're rolling I mean that Kreider is advantage at Roslovic line I think will do a lot of damage same thing with that you know one B line whatever you want to call it of the Panarin, Trocek, and Lafreniere line. That line has so much chemistry. They've been buzzing all year together. So if they can obviously go in there, those top two lines can absolutely be very, very dominant offensively. And for the bottom six, they're adding in a guy like Alex Wenberg at the trade deadline, I think was a phenomenal move by Chris Drury. I mean, sometimes you don't necessarily have to add in, you know, a Patrick Kane and a Vladimir Tarasenko to really get that playoff success. Sometimes it takes a really good 2A forward and a couple other really solid players as well to really get the job done. And maybe this is what we're going to see this season. But a guy like Wenberg is a great 2A center. Help out on the PK and play a really good overall kind of 2A game. You know, shut down that other team's top line at points. So I do think this guy is going to have a really great impact. And that third line there, you know, really good kind of checking defensive line there as well. And in general, I mean, Will Cooley has played quite good this year as well. And the bottom six also only has, you know, really good 2A players, you know, good defensive guys. But they also have a bit of scoring punch there as well. I mean, Barclay Gaudreau has come out of nowhere the last few games and has actually started to play a lot better, especially offensively. You know, he's actually starting to score goals here. So I do think that if the bottom six here can really get rolling, you know, offensively as well, this team can do a ton of damage. When the top two forward lines are obviously rolling offensively, they're going to be very, very dominant and some of the best lines in all of hockey. But when obviously that bottom six is going as well, and if they can play obviously that great two-way game and obviously, you know, kind of wear down the team's top lines, you know, play a good physical game, but also have a bit of scoring punches there as well, that can help this team out a ton. Having that depth scoring is so important come playoff time. And I would say the Detroit Red Wings game that happened on Friday night is a perfect example of having depth scoring really kind of help wield you to a win. I mean, this Rangers team won 4-3. And three of those goals were scored in the bottom six. You have guys like Will Cooley. He had a goal in that one, made things one nothing. And then Barclay Gaudreau scored two as well. So in a 4-3 win against a pretty solid Red Wings team, the Rangers end up getting three goals from the bottom six there. I think that was absolutely great to see. The depth is very good. And when that bottom six is scoring as well, especially a guy like Barclay Gaudreau has kind of been pretty quiet you know, offensively all season for the most part. Having him in that bottom six, you know, being able to produce offensively as well, you know, score a goal here and there as well is very, very important. Sometimes, you know, that bottom six, he needs to get going in there and needs to produce. And when they can, that will help this team out a ton. And for the defense, I mean, like I said earlier on, the depth is pretty good there as well. Having, you know, guys like Eric Gustafson, Zach Jones, and Chad Ruedel as your six. 7 and 8th team and I think is very good. Like I said, Chad has quite a few games in the playoffs with the Pittsburgh Penguins. He won a Stanley Cup with them. He's got a lot of experience there. And Zach Jones, although maybe pretty young and still a little inexperienced and you know, hasn't quite played in the playoffs yet in the NHL, obviously, he is still a guy who's very talented and did have a pretty good stretch of games there when Gustafson was out. So I do think that he's definitely a guy who, if he gets called upon, definitely could make a decent impact on this team as well. And some other really good things to note about this team as well is the fact that this team is very good offensively, defensively, on the power play, and on the penalty kill as well. You take a look at the goals per game right now in the entire NHL. The Rangers are in sixth place with 3.43 for goals against per game. They're seventh with a 2.78. 
For power play percentage, they are 25.9, which puts them in fourth place. And then for the PK percentage, they have 83.5, which puts them in fourth place there as well. I think this Rangers team is obviously pretty good offensively and defensively, but also being good on special teams is very important come playoff time as well. You're not going to go through an entire series without taking a penalty. So being able to kill things off at a good rate is very important, but also being able to capitalize when the other team takes a penalty is also very important. So if the special teams can get going, like obviously we have seen so far this regular season, that will be very, very important for this team to be able to get extra goals there on the power play, but also, you know, be able to kill things off as well. That is very important. So I think this team kind of top to bottom is set right now to have a potentially really great playoff run. Hopefully they end up getting the job done. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this video. If you want to, definitely go check out my X or Twitter linked in the description, Trainer Sports. I post a decent amount about the New York Rangers. And also, don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content I post every single day. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. See ya.